Hello everybody, hope, hope you're having a wonderful day today and this is lesson number 19 in our dive into the wonderful world of music theory and today we're going to be clapping out notes. We already did this last lesson which by the way if you haven't seen I would really encourage you to go there, that was lesson number 18 and in that lesson we learned how to clap out notes in the 4-4 four, four time signature, right? And the notes we learned how to clap out were the quarter note, we also learned how to clap out the half note, and we also learned how to, sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here, and we also learned how to clap out the whole note. Now today, I'm also going to be using only the 4-4 four, four time signature. Um, we'll learn about how to clap with different time signatures slightly more down the line, I think actually next lesson perhaps. But in this lesson, my agenda for today is teaching you guys how to clap out 8th notes, and 16th notes. So 8th notes and 16th notes. Teaching you guys. So now these ones require some. Act, so yeah, they, I, they deserve their own lesson because the system is slightly different. So just a small recap from last lesson. In a 4 4 time signature, um, we have 4 counts per bar. So I counted 1, 2, 3, 4. And each count is worth a quarter note because. The four at the bottom tells me that. It's telling me what note each count is worth. So, once again, we were able to deduce that if a quarter note is equal to one count, right, that means that, that literally means that I am going to sustain that quarter note for exactly one count when I'm counting. A half note would then be equal to two counts. Same, what it means is that I would, I'm going to sustain that half note for um, twice as long as a quarter note or two counts when I'm counting and a whole note is equal to four counts and those are, that's where we stopped now now i want to ask you what do you think by this logic in eighth notes how many how many counts do you think in, in eighth note will be and my neighbor is getting some construction done so you'll have to there's probably going to be lots of hammer noises which might come into the video so you'll have to excuse me for that but back to the lesson um what do you think in eighth note would be in terms of value and i encourage you to pause the video and think about it ponder it so okay, this should be your cue. So we know based on note value that two eighth notes are the same as a quarter note. Right? It means two eighth notes the value is the same as a quarter note. So if a quarter note one count, then in DDS eight the eighth notes are half a count. They are half a count. So for if this is one count, this is half because half plus half is one. So you can do the math if you would like to but it is indeed half a count and by that logic um, what is the 16th note once again I encourage you to pause the video and I'm assuming you've done it and the answer is one fourth account because it's half of an eighth note and a quarter of a quarter note so yes it's one fourth account now we'll worry about the 16th note in a bit so but what about the eighth note so let's just focus on the eighth note for now now, as you know, till now we've been counting music like 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can continue to count music like that even with 8 notes a day. But especially when you're starting out, it becomes very problematic to conceptualize half a count when you're counting in terms of whole count. So if I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, I can play half a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, or 1, 2, 3, 4. Each, each one of those notes just now was a 8th note. Uh, as per how I was counting, right? Each one of those was an eighth note. But um, and you can, as I said, you can count with half um a count, even with the regular counting system one, two, three, four. It just means that two eighth notes will come in one count. But we have actually come up with um, thankfully a system to count um eighth notes, which is much simpler. So instead of so far, we've been counting like one, two, three, and four. And if you want, you can continue to count like this. Um, but just remember that two eighth notes should come in one count or an eighth notes half a count, right? And but for the majority of you who will find that quite difficult, and I can imagine why even I find it quite difficult at times. We've come up with a new counting system for including eighth notes, and that is instead of counting one, two, three, four, we count one and two and oh, that's not an and two and three and four and. I'm sorry, I seem to be terrible at drawing ants, but yes. So instead of saying 1, 2, 3, 4, we're not counting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. 
and we still keep four counts in a bar. So these are one count, these two make one count, two make one count, these two make one count. There's still four counts in a bar. It's one and two and three and four and but by adding those ands in the middle, I am neatly dividing those counts into half, so it's much easier for me to count an eighth note. So, so what this means is when you count like this, each one of these, including the numbers and the ends, is now worth half a count. So I will sustain an eighth note for half a count. This one is a half a count, this and is half a count. Because uh, I've split I've split it up equal into eight parts. Right? I had four, I split it into eight. So each one of these is half a count. So you sustain a note for that long. Now I need demonstration is the best, right? So these two together make one count for them. And just this one or this one on its own is half a count. So again, once again, demonstration is best. So if I am playing, let's say if I want to play an eighth note, just one, right? Forget about the bars for now, we'll get to that later. Just an eighth note. It'll be one and two and three and four and once again. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so I only sustain it for the 1 not the AND and not anything that follows that but that being said let's actually make something realistic I may actually write some music in 4-4 four, four with 8 notes just a full line of 8 notes I think you'll yes this does very much fit with the 4-4 four, four time signature and how would I count this well, as I said, I could count it with 1, 2, 3, 4, which I'll show you. 1, 2, 3, 4. But it's much easier and it's often better to count with this system of counting. And I'll show you what that are. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So now I'm counting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. And as you can see, it makes it phenomenally easier for me to count now because each one is worth an end. So, we generally you adopt this whenever eighth notes are included in music, whenever they're included, right? Um, even when there are other notes, like a quarter note or a half note. So let's try this simple rhythm. And I don't, I'm going to play it for you because I, I mean, if you should sure, gutsy, pause the video and try. I'll be really impressed if without me demonstrating, you can get this rhythm right here, right? But I'm going to play it for you to demonstrate what this means. Right. So now, a quarter note is one count. And as I said, in this system, one and that entire thing is one count. Because I'm splitting my one into one and and. Right? So the entire thing is one count. So when I'm counting this out, I will a quarter note will be sustained for a number and an and. And an eighth note will only be sustained for one. So as I said, it's best that I demonstrate so you get a better understanding. Me speaking is going to move you very, very little to, towards a better understanding. So let's try. So one and two and three and four and one and, sorry about that. I'll start again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let me play slightly slower so you can hear each one. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so once again I'm sustaining the quarter note for 1 and 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 2 and 2 and and um, because this is one count I've split that 1 into 1 and and I only sustain the 8th notes for 3 and 3 individually and individually why? because those are each worth half a count that's what we've done by doing it like this and as you can see, it makes it much easier for me to count its notes. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and... And it, it, it's phenomenally easy. If you, if, you, if you don't see it, you can take my word for it. And so this is this is the counting system you've come with. And by this logic, um, for example, 1 and 2 and would be a half note once again because each one of those is a count, two counts, right? And all of this would be a whole note because 1 count, 2 count, 3 count, 4 count, 4 counts. So with that in mind, with this in mind, now I want you to try to clap out some basic rhythms. So I'm going to keep it a little basic right now and this is when I want you to come in. So there I was demonstrating for you. Now that you've understood it's best that you try to do it yourself and get an intuitive understanding for how it works. So let's try. So I've got an eighth note and an eighth note and I've got a quarter note. I've got an eighth note and an eighth note and I've got another quarter note. So I want you to try to play this part, clap out the part. Remember, a quarter note is going to be one count, which is a full one and that's why we split it up. And an eighth note is only going to be one of these. 
or that's a bad circle only one why because this is half and that's one uh, i just i'm repeating it because uh, for greater understanding so i encourage you to pause the video to try it out based on this entire system so i'm assuming you've done that and now i am going to play it for you and i'm going to play it for you and you can check if you're correct so once again uh, i count and do it first one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and i'll do slightly slower so you can hear each and every one uh, number and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so yeah and one thing uh, that's that's how it works i don't want to give the whole system again i'm sure you got bored of me saying that but yeah let's try another one uh, another relatively simple one i'll include a half note this time So now I encourage you to try this rhythm right here. I encourage you to pause the video and try it out. So hopefully you've done that and let's try. Ready? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that once again. One and two and three and four and remember? This I'm um, the half note is worth exact is two counts and these uh, three and plus four and is two counts. So yeah, we work. This is how it works. Let's do one more before we before I actually write you know a four bar rhythm or something like that. Let's try. Hmm, okay, let's try this. Okay, try. Ready? So I encourage you to try, pause the video and try. Just so pause it and try it, and I'm, I'm going to do it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and once again, one and two and three and four and that's what's up. So exactly. Now uh, you can if you didn't get any of these or didn't get one, I encourage you to pause the video, rewind, rewatch the video, try again, you know, try again, because now we're going to move on to some proper 4 bar rhythms and I'm going to include everything. So now I'm going to include one, uh, the uh, quarter note, a half note, a whole note, and now our new friend, an eighth note. Once again, only in 4-4, four, four, and this entire system is for 4-4, four, four. let me stress that, only for 4-4, four, four, not for the time signatures, we'll cover that later. Okay, anyways, so let me write out something interesting then. So, 4 bar rhythm here, lovely, I encourage you to pause the video, try it yourself, assuming you paused, I am going to play it now, 1, uh, and count and play it, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 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 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and, once again, one and two and three and four and 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 this time without me counting And that's about it. Uh, let's do one more of these and then we'll move on to discussing how the 16th note works. So, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I may keep that for another lesson. Regardless, I may write one more.
Okay, let's try this anchor. Pause the video, try it out. Okay, now I'm going to try it out. One and two and three and four and 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 one and one and two and three and four and once again. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and one and two and three and four and now without me counting. Okay, so that's all I wanted to do with eighth notes. Hopefully, you've got some creative rhythms to do here. I encourage you to try to write your own and try to play them out. And you know what? You have actually been equipped with some um, with some tools by now. So if you are, you know, want to dabble in some composition, you can try in terms of rhythms. So you can think of or something like that. You can try to actually write it down if it happens to be for for rhythm. And I've equipped you, I think, with enough to write it down. So we'll see. It's always exciting when you learn something new, isn't it? Anyways, so for the 16th note, I think I'll actually cover that next lesson because this lesson's gotten quite long, about 16 minutes already. So I think we'll cover the 16th note next lesson. We're looking forward to meeting you there. And once again, we're going to only be using the 4-4 time signature. So I think next to next lesson, I might switch around time signatures and explain some of the deeper, deeper intricacies and the stuff that goes along with that. Anyways, for this lesson, um, I, I hope you took something valuable away from it. I hope you enjoyed it to some extent and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye.